This might be my most anticipated horror game, period. Today we are playing the teaser demo for Hollow Body. This is a survival horror game made by one person, and it is specifically inspired by survival horror of the early 2000s. So think like PS2 horror. The developer dropped a demo for this recently and I rushed to download it. I am so excited to check this thing out. Before we get started though, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. If you feel stuck in your life right now, or you feel like you have a lack of motivation for basically everything, hear me out on something. What kind of people do you surround yourself with? In my experience, if you have a lot of goals you're trying to accomplish and you spend a lot of time around people who are not driven, that can affect your ability to accomplish those goals. If you surround yourself with people who are negative, that can also play a part. Now, I'm not telling you to cut a bunch of people out of your life or anything like that. In fact, I'm not really telling you to do anything at all. Just next time you're wondering where all your motivation went, consider that. Obviously, passion from within can overcome all, but if you're not surrounding yourself with like-minded people, you're fighting an uphill battle. It's always inspiring when both you and the company you keep are all accomplishing goals together. That's the idea anyway. I love you guys and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is the Hollow Body playable teaser. Man, I almost want to just stay on this screen and kind of listen to the rain. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes before I go to bed, I'll play like rain sound effects or rainforest sound effects. Always knocks me right out, but it's not about the menu screen. It's about the game itself. Here is Hollow Body. And like I said, I'm just so excited. This is a work in progress. Demonstration intended to showcase the core mechanical and visual features of Hollow Body. Various narrative and gameplay elements have been modified for the purpose of this demo. Gotcha. Please consider wishlisting. I think I'm actually backing this game on Kickstarter. Hmm. I think I am. I think I have a few things backed, so I need to go look at exactly what I've backed. Because I'm not remembering now. Here we go. I'm so excited. Severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning levels. Hmm. Was a rhetorical question, Beeb. I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. Concerning levels of what? It's all right. We will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? Fully voiced. There is a statistical probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussion. Sorry, I am unable to process your request. Hmm. The, the root function termination oh. is protected. I was wondering what was going on. I thought that was actually a glitch at first. Shit. System critical. Fuck, 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 fuck. So we're in the future. Like, I don't know exactly what year, but we're kind of in a flying vehicle of some kind. I cannot wait to see, um, you know, more in terms of real gameplay about this game. I've seen lots of like marketing materials and stuff in the Kickstarter page and um, you know, on the internet because I'm interested in stuff like this, but I'm just so excited to see how it's all come together. And I'm very excited to see the art style uh, as I'm actually playing the game rather than just watching a video. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point, some place high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. Kind of reminds me of, uh, this wasn't over. You know, Silent Hill 1 starting with a car crash. You know, I wonder if that's a parallel. I wonder if that was done intentionally. Hopping out of the DeLorean, it seems. System critical. Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah, I love everything about the way this game looks. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we do have a light, but it, it's not helping us much here. We keep getting a system critical noise. Are we some sort of a robot of some kind? An android, possibly? 
so we can kick that rock around. Keep getting that system critical noise. I wonder, or not noise, um, the alert. I wonder if that's what happens when we're at low health. Okay, we can't go through these doors. Um, I'm trying to get some bearings on the gameplay here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So check this out. The game switches between, like, kind of a standard third-person camera and fixed camera angles here. That's awesome. What is all over the inside of this, uh, vehicle? A medical repair spray has been left in the back of the ambulance. We'll go ahead and take that. Okay, press Y. Oh, look at this. Look at this pause screen. So we have a danger signal, which tells us our health. This is so cool. All right. Let's go ahead and use that repair spray. Okay. So now we can run now that we're healed. I wonder if... We can't run if we've taken enough damage. There's no way in. The doors are completely rusted shut. So the right stick does not freely control the camera. The camera kind of slowly follows behind our main character. And it definitely gives it an old school feel. But the game does not have tank controls. Um, it very much doesn't feel like you're playing one of the old horror games. Which some people really like that control scheme. There is an option to turn tank controls on. But I'm just going to play it like this. I personally don't mind tank controls in horror games. I think it's okay. So what is this material we keep seeing? What is this stuff? Looks like it's reaching out for something. Is it just... I can't exactly look up at the sky, but if you notice, it looks like these things just stretch out into the sky. So I'm wondering where they're coming from and why they're here. But look at the tone that is set here already. I'm just so impressed. I'm so impressed with the the way this game looks being made by one person. Sorry if I'm wandering around the same area. I just like to take it all in. Damn, what is this? It looks like a... I don't know, like some sort of Metal Gear. I notice that... That weird material that we aren't sure what it is is... Mostly coming for mechanical stuff. Let's head this way. I want to take a look at the surroundings more. This game is so beautiful. It's literally like you took a PlayStation 2 survival horror and gave it, like, modern lighting, modern resolutions. It's really special. The fact that indie developers are still pushing to make games like this is so special, and we have to continue to support them. Tormented Souls is another one. It's getting a sequel. I highly recommend it if you guys like old-school survival horror. Look at this playground. Oh! So what does that imply? There's something oddly creepy about an empty playground, right? Especially an empty playground in the rain. There's something really creepy about that. Even though there's nothing wrong, other than that thing spinning, um, there's nothing really wrong with what we're seeing, you know? But there's something... I'm wondering if I'm accidentally spinning that or something. There's something oddly... Oh! I wonder what that's trying to show us. Oh, there's something over here. It's like, uh, there's like a little path here. 
leading to the side of the trash can. Oh, here we go. We can push it. That's what that camera angle is trying to show us. So can I climb up here? Yes, I can. Okay. I was wondering why they would show us that camera angle specifically. Now we can get in here. Obviously, there was a reason why one of the windows was open with the light on. So my first thought was, how do we get in the building? Okay. Time to find a way up to the roof. Also, let's talk about the character model. Looks really good. It's obvious they're going for the PlayStation 2 aesthetic, but again, it looks like if you took a PlayStation 2 character and kind of plopped it in a modern game, if that makes sense. Just various old boxes. This whole place looks completely disheveled. Just junk. Yeah. Most of it is just junk. Now, one thing this character does, if you notice, just like the Silent Hill games, is when they see something they can interact with, they will look at it. So, that is a very useful feature in the old Silent Hill games. Is they will look at something that can be picked up, interacted with, etc. Hmm. We used to be happy. And that looks like an apartment. We used to be yeah, we used to be happy. So what happened? The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Expanding foam? Well, they definitely don't want us in there. And these are all locked with... It's funny, it looks like an old apartment. But... In the modern... Or like in futuristic times, I guess. Because they have like... Like, look at these locks. Door is shut with an electronic lock. Okay, there we go. Now the torch is working. Camera kind of spins around when you spin around, I guess. So that'll take some getting used to, but nothing crazy. Okay, let's see. This game is so pretty. And everything feels very deliberate and intentional in terms of, you know, where the refuse is placed and the walls being torn up. It's full of old clothes and other useless junk. Nothing of any use, forgotten relics of a life long lost. It's filthy, no way I'd sleep in something like that. Well, um, that's probably for the best. I still don't know, like, what this character is. Are they just a human being? The sink is filled with old plates and stale water. Ugh. I really like the transition between cinematic camera angles. And, like, free cam. It's not really free cam, but you get it. Filthy old bathtub. Nope. Nothing we can use here. It's trash. Great. Can't interact with the toilet, so... Doesn't look like there's anything useful in here. What do you guys think of this game? Any classic survival horror fans just looking at this and are like, man, this looks so cool. I wish more developers made games like this. I do have a run button. I know one of these had the X on it, but I don't remember which one. I kind of just want to explore right now anyways. Document added. How do I access that? Here it is, Sasha's letter. Micah, honey, you might want to be sitting down for this one. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel. But this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this. I keep running it through my head over and over, and each time I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going because I need to know something. The team's all checked out, we've got a way in, and an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it, and this whole thing will be... just another job. 
Please don't hate me. I love you. Wow. So what is Sasha referring to? What is this job she's referring to? Oh, Jesus. Oh! It seems like it comes with some element of danger. What is that thing? There's that material we keep seeing. And he's injected himself with something. A key card is grasped in the body's hand. Room key has been added to inventory. And for which room? I'm probably going to need to examine the item. Alright, let's go do that. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Uh, room 2.3. Well, thank you for the key card. Oh, here we go. Revolver ammo, six shots has been added to inventory. Awesome. So let's go ahead and equip that. Okay, so now we actually have some ammo for the gun. I like that we can have our flashlight on and the gun at the same time. That's good. I wasn't sure if they were going to let us do that. But this is the future, right? It's all high tech. Of course we can do that. We could do it in Silent Hill 2. Okay, so 2.3 is what we're looking for. This is 2.10. I still want to look through it. I still want to check it out. This is another... What is that? We getting a radio signal? Hmm. Just some dirty plates. What's the... What's the deal with the signal we keep getting? I don't understand. Is it something we can interact with, possibly? It's right here. Alright, well, I don't know what that means. Oh wait, I didn't go in the bathroom. Let's check that. I do want to explore everything. I know it's just a demo. And nothing. You couldn't pay me to take a shower in this place. I feel that. You can pay me to do anything in this place. Okay, well, let's get to searching. 2.3. What was that? Hello? 2.14. There's someone else here. Uh, no, it just looks like a normal bathroom. I'm wondering how many of these floors... Oh! Oh my god. Oh, there's a key down there. I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. So what do I need? There's a flamethrower and a key there. Or what looks like a flamethrower. Oh, God. Resident Catherine Dowell, unemployed, deceased, cause acute dehydration. Look at her. Wait, acute dehydration? So what happened? Like, something randomly came up to her and... Pulled all the moisture from her body or something? What happened here? Full of old clothes. Is there something over here? No. Okay. So... Man, these... These, uh... These apartments are absolutely horrifying to be in. The atmosphere is just relentless. It's like aggressively depressing and uncomfortable. I think the tone was just absolutely nailed here. So we are going to have to go back to 2.14 but this is 
2.4, so... Oh, 2.3. If you have the item, it'll actually allow you to bring it up. Perfect. So either this is going to be where we need to be, or it's going to give us the item where we need to get that key. Oh my... What happened here? The floor has collapsed, leading to the room below. Jump down? Uh, sure. What is that? That looks like a missile. That looks like a missile. A missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. I was right. Is it active? I don't want to wait around to find out. What is this? Are we getting a call? Uh, hello? Who is it? Is, uh, is anyone there? Yeah, the phone shouldn't be working in a place like this. I'm sorry, who is this? We? This line still active. Some things refuse to die. Some things refuse to die. I get it. You're one of those old service bots, right? Service bots. You used to take calls when people went home. So, I wonder if this is going to be some kind of AI, like evil AI or something like that. Well, not necessarily evil, okay. but Try like this. AI gone I'm crazy. Someone. A girl. Her name's Sasha. Please tell me. Have you seen her? I only see what they see. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so we have stray. Creepy fucking robot. Stray what? Stray dogs? Stray people? Oh my goodness. Now I'm all paranoid. The minute he warns us, or whatever that thing is. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a toy. Resident Charlie Garewell, adolescent, deceased, cause asphyxiation. Oh my god, he's up. He's at the top of that bed. So what happened to the people here? Document added. Well, of course we gotta check that out. Child drawing bazillion R. Or bazillionaire. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mommy a new daddy and get pizza every day. That is sad. And that looks like his mom. Next to a dead guy on the so his dad died somehow. Okay, I didn't I guess I missed reading this one. Here we go. Newspaper from November 16th. Social enrichment charity Sherwood announced Social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnsden's infrastructure and economy. Barnsden November 19th, 2063. Okay. In a groundbreaking move set to redefine Barnsden's landscape, Sherwood, a philanthropic organization, has declared plans for transformative investment aimed at revitalizing the city's infrastructure. The initiative aims to usher in a new era of prosperity, promising job opportunities and modern transit systems in a city marred by economic struggles and social challenges. In a statement released by Sherwood CEO Sarah Reynolds, the organization expressed its commitment to fostering positive change. We believe that every community deserves to have the chance to thrive. Our investment in Barnston aims to create a sustainable and vibrant future for its residents by addressing the systemic issues that have held the city back for far too long. The announcement sparked enthusiasm among residents, businesses, and officials. Mayor Robert Thompson hailed it as a turning point, welcoming Sherwood's commitment and the transformative potential. Sherwood's plan not only underscores their dedication to social welfare, but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socioeconomic challenges. 
Hmm. So it sounds like they had big plans for this place. Um, in terms of transforming it from being held back. As plans unfold, anticipation mounts for the monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of Barnston. For inquiries or statements, okay, reach out. All right. Well. Ooh. What does that say? Nothing useful, just clothes. Oh, I guess it just says die up there. That's fine. And what is this? A hammer lies embedded into the family portrait. Why does that portrait look way creepier than it probably should? So now I have a hammer. Okay. So what do I do with it? Let me see. Claw hammer, inspect. Useless as a weapon, but good for good for breaking stuff. So I probably shouldn't break the missile. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that that's not a good idea. X marks the spot. The radiator appears to be damaged, barely hanging on the wall. Remove the radiator. Yes. Can we get out through here? The wall is watered. I may be able to. Okay. Well, I know what that tool is. It's the hammer. We'll smash through. Get out on the other side. And since we're on the ground floor now, I think we can go grab that key. Let's go ahead and sneak under here. We haven't encountered any enemies yet, but we heard something earlier. So I'm wondering when that thing's going to appear. This is exciting. 1.5 here. Is this the room? I hear a noise. It's like someone's bouncing a ball around. Hello? Small child's bed. What is that noise? It sounds like someone's bouncing a basketball. Oh, here we go. That's useful. Take that. Hello? We can stomp on stuff. Yeah, very Silent Hill... ...esque. I don't know what I hear. I hear some- oh! Sean Bewley. Myocardial infarction. Now what is this? A portable cell battery sits wired to a broken diagnostic device. We'll take the portable battery. Um, because I know for a fact we're going to need it. But I don't know what consequences that's going to give us. Hello? We're on the ground floor now. Oh, I hear it. They're not bouncing a basketball. It's someone trying to get out of this. An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded into the door. Take the makeshift club. Sure. Oh. <laughs> and I hear someone crying. Right, we're going to get the gun out. Hello? Also, every apartment room? Like, you can tell it's obviously from the same apartment building, but it looks completely unique. 
letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient Helen details. Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October, 2025. Okay. <laughs> Who's in here? Is wait, she like doesn't even have a torso. Stomp on it. No, I've played Silent Hill before, I know how this works. What the hell was that? She was eating that other person that doesn't look. Oh, that's Helen Bridges. Cause unknown. I have a guess. So. Helen Bridges likely died like the others, but what is this thing? I have a theory. It looks like a similar material. Like, it looks like it's made up of the same material that we saw... Not infecting, but, you know, all over the place. A young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Can't be more than three or four years old. I feel like we're gonna have a puzzle to solve here. Uh, personal safe is mounted on the wall. Graduation. Hmm. So, we're looking for a year. So, let's check here real quick. A letter um, plus health UK. 2025. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth. So, she was born in 2025. And then right here, a young woman celebrating her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. She's can't be more than three or four years old. Thirty years old here. Kids three or four. Okay, so they're asking for a graduation date. Obviously, twenty twenty five being her birthday. Um, she turned 30 in 2055, but that's not right. Did, was it right? No. Okay. I didn't think so. I thought I heard something though. I guess not. Okay. So, are they asking like when the kid would have graduated? I guess if he was three or four in 2055, and I'm imagining he graduated at either 17 or 18, if I had to guess. So would he be, let's see. We need to add like 14 to 2055. So 2069. What about 2070? What about 2071? What about 2072? What about 2068? No. Okay. So... Oh, there's more pictures here. Three girls at a university oh! Graduation. Her graduation, not her son's graduation. Heavily pregnant. Okay. So she graduated the year she was pregnant with her son. Her son's three or four in this, which means it would have to be 2051 or 2052. Bingo. There we go. I was just missing one of the pictures. A large metal key hides in the back of the safe. We're gonna take the old key. Perfect. 
So that gives us an idea of the kind of puzzles we can expect. Man, this this feels like... It really feels like a Silent Hill game. In all the best ways. I'm really enjoying it so far. But it just makes me want to play the full game even more. But I have to wait. Oh, this is going to be so cool when it finally releases. 1.9. I don't know what to do with the key at all. Like, at all. Is this the missile room? No. So the key goes somewhere. We haven't encountered anything. Old television. Probably worth a pretty penny to a collector. Eh, probably not. Nope, just nasty kitchen after nasty kitchen. Any sort of lockbox around? At all? Anything at all in this room? Let me check the map. Um... Alright, I might need to go down the hall again. To be honest. And now I'm hearing something. Okay. Back down the hall. I don't think there's anything over here. Oh! Oh, there's two enemies. Um, I should switch weapons because I'm wasting ammo, I'm realizing. Get out of here. Get out of here. How do I stomp? Do you want to kind of space him? I'm trying to get used to the range here. Oh, come on. I'm trying not to take damage because I don't know, like, how much... Like, health I'm going to have to actually heal myself with. The combat does feel very similar to Silent Hill, but... I don't seem to know how to stomp. when I have a melee weapon. Maybe you can't and you just melee again? Oh, that was creepy as hell. I think that's where I need to go though. Come on. I ain't afraid of no ghost or whatever this is. It, it looks like it's made of the same material that we saw earlier in the game. I know I said that before. Come on, go down. Go down. If you miss, though, you run the risk of getting hit. The combat feels very slow, deliberate, exactly how Silent Hill 2 combat felt. It feels similar to that. So this door was locked, actually. And then that enemy opened it. So I actually don't know what's in here. Ammo. Any puzzle stuff? Useless junk? Can I not move it? Possibly? Is there like nothing? I don't know what to use this key on. Let me... Oh! I think I just found it. We'll do that. Unlocked! Perfect! Okay! That answers that question. <sighs> Thank you for playing this early demo version of Hollow Body. I'm hard at work bringing the best possible experience to new players and fans of the genre. <sighs> That's the worst part about a demo like this. Is when it's over. I was like totally engrossed in the experience and I kind of forgot I was playing a demo at one point. 
Hollow Body is currently planned for release in quarter one of 2024. The full game will feature professional voice acting and original soundtrack, post-game unlocks, and a uniquely personal narrative. I am on board. Guys, if you want to see this game played on the channel, or if you would rather see it on stream, you let me know. I would love to hear your opinions. If you'd like to help support Hollow Body in the lead-up to release, wishlisting is the best way to show Steam that this game is worth promoting to new players. Additionally, for updates on the game's progress and the opportunity to join our public beta test, you can sign up at the following address. Cool! Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that demo as much as I did. This was a blast. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.